this happens to the narcissist once you moved on. Once you finally move on with your life, this is what happens to the narcissist. The narcissist would love for you to think that they're so much happier without you. They would love for you to think that they're so much better without you. It's the same story every time. The narcissist wants everyone to think that you are this horrible person and that you made them the way that they are. And yet somehow they managed to move on and be happy without you. It's a good story which has been told millions of times by narcissists all over the world. And for someone who has been abused and is suffering from CPTSD, it can be quite believable. You have been taught to ignore your own intuition. You have been taught to seek validation from your abusers. So whatever they tell you, whatever they display to you, you just accept it. It can be painful to accept that the narcissist has abused you and completely ruined your life only to move on and be happy with someone else. And that's often the reason why they want you to think that. It's further abuse. They want to abuse you even while they're not a part of your life because they don't want you to move on they don't want you to be happy without them. The truth is that there is no such thing as an abusive or manipulative person that has moved on or feels good about themselves. That is a contradiction in itself. Because if a person was happy without you, they would feel no need to abuse or manipulate you. They would feel no need to hurt you. The narcissist will post pictures on social media with a sole intention of hurting you. Or they will use their flying monkeys to tell you that they've moved on and they're happy without you. Just to make you feel bad. This is all designed to make you feel like you ain't shit. As though you're worthless and insignificant. As though you never mattered to them. When really, that is not the case. If you were their primary source of supply, they didn't just move on without you. They are not happy with someone else. They are still thinking about what they had with you. But they know they can't come back of how things ended. They smeared your name and made you look like a bad person because it was the only way that they could protect their image. But now it has made it impossible for them to come back because no narcissist is going to choose their source over their false self.
once you've moved on. The narcissist doesn't just forget about you. Narcissists are so bitter and resentful. They can hold grudges for the rest of their lives. You didn't let them mold you into what they wanted you to be. You didn't let them control you. And that is something that they will never forget. Because they didn't get what they wanted from you. That is something no narcissist will ever forget. Because normally, they're so used to people being susceptible to their manipulation and getting what they want. But that didn't work with you. You didn't just hand over your loyalty and commitment to them. You chose to move on because you realized that their false self wasn't real. You realized that it was just bits and pieces that they took from other people's movies or magazines. It wasn't authentic. They were just whatever they thought people wanted them to be. And once they realize that you figured them out, you lose value to them. They no longer have any use for you. Because the whole point of them having people around them is that they're supposed to prop up their false image. The false image was designed to get them what they want. But it didn't work on you. And that is why they're so mad. That is why they will hold this grudge against you for the rest of their lives. They will never forget you. They will never stop thinking about you. They will try to move on with someone else. But it's never going to be the same. Because deep down they know that whoever they're with is never going to value who they really are. They're only with them because of the false self. This character that they've created from watching other people or movies. It has nothing to do with them. It's a fabrication. And deep down they know it. But no matter what, they have to keep up the act. They have to make you and everyone else think that everything is better now. Even when it's not. Because the only thing that's more important to a narcissist and their happiness and satisfaction is their image and reputation. And they will sacrifice their happiness if it means that they can look good to other people. So they will continue with their facade. They will continue with their deceptive outward appearance, acting like everything is okay. But just remember when you first met them, how they acted like their lives were perfect and everything was going great for them. But over time cracks began to show. You began to realize that their lives weren't so great after all. They had all of these problems. And because they're so focused on their image and reputation, they don't look within or self-reflect. They never take the opportunity to work on themselves. They just continue living a lie, acting as though everything's great. Just as they did when they first met you. But nothing's changed since then. It's still the same narcissist. They're still chasing after something outside of themselves. Still depending on someone or something for their happiness or sense of well-being. When no one can make us happy. It didn't work with you. And it's not going to work with anyone else. 
this happiness is meant to come from within. But the narcissist abandoned everything that they had within a long time ago. Which is why they have to use people to make them feel better about themselves. Which is why they have to post pictures on social media or use their flying monkeys to get reactions out of you. Because that's the only way that they can feel better about themselves. But as I said before, people who are abusive or manipulative do not feel good about themselves. That's why they do what they do. When you've moved on, the narcissist is still keeping tabs on you. They're still making sure that they always know where you are and what you're doing. They have to feel like they're in control of you. Because in their minds, you still belong to them. In their minds, you're still their property. Even if they know that they can't come back, they will still be lurking in the shadows, watching everything that you do. But because they don't reflect and realize that they've become the psychotic, crazy obsessed stalkers, they begin to think that maybe you haven't moved on. Now everything that you say or do, everything that you're involved in, makes them question if maybe they're still on your mind, if maybe you haven't moved on. Even if they don't even cross your mind anymore. Narcissists are paranoid and hypervigilant, and this is how they think. They think that you're thinking about them, even when you've moved on without them. But as you may remember from when you were with them, they are obsessive. They can't let things go. They are still obsessing over you. And if you've moved on and you've become happier and more successful without them, of course they wish they could come back. They're always looking for a more favourable situation. But if they know that you see through them, they're not going to come back. It would be humiliating for them to be around you when you've accomplished so much without them. It reveals who the problem was in that relationship. It reveals that they were holding you back from being your best self. But they will never be happy. They will never move on. They will always be keeping tabs on you. They will always be bitter and resentful. And it just gets to a point where they begin to lose the only thing they ever really cared about. Their physical appearance. Their image and reputation. And then even the superficial people who stayed around just for that will begin to fade away. The majority of narcissists do not become successful. And once they get to a certain age, their behavior is no longer accepted by the people around them. They end up alone and miserable. Unless they can find a doormat to walk on. But even that type of person wouldn't have any respect for them. They can only exist around other fake people. Other people who ignore what's beneath the surface. They have to avoid reality. And peering in on what you're doing is the only opportunity they get to see what real life is really like. But they never move on. They're always watching you. Comparing their situation to yours. They were never grateful or appreciative of you. And they don't appreciate what they've got now. They're always looking for something more. 
And that is why they haven't moved on. That is why they're still keeping tabs on you. They're still trying to hold you back. Because the last thing they want to see is you moving on. When they can't move on. When someone has really moved on. They will want you to move on. But the narcissist is still holding a grudge. They're still attached to you. And they hate being attached to you. Especially when the thought of them doesn't even cross your mind anymore. Which is why they will continue watching you. They will continue popping up in your life. The thought of you will continue to preoccupy their minds continually and to a troubling extent. This is just what happens to the narcissist once you moved on. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions, and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.